Human Immunodeficiency Virus HIV, has become one of the health and development challenges worldwide since the first cases were reported in 1981. 37 million people live with HIV and 2.3 million people die in every year. Scientists around the world have been searching for an HIV vaccine with limited success. Among the hastiest dedicated scientists are thus from Tanzania at Mwihimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences, MUHAS, who have begun the efforts with clinical trials. Like scientists elsewhere in the world, we at MUHAS believe that having an HIV vaccine that works is a cost-effective way of preventing HIV infection, and that will be a long-term solution for the problem. But there are some scientific reasons also why we decided to engage in HIV vaccine trial. Number one is diversity of HIV strains. We have many strains of different kinds which are circulating in the population. For example, in Tanzania, we have subtype A, C, and D, but also some recombinant strains. In order to have a good vaccine that works, it means all these strains have to be addressed in one way or another. Secondly, we know that there are genetic differences in the way immune response takes place to different challenges. So we think it is important to have a vaccine tested in our population in order to see the influence of our genetic makeup in the immune responses that are produced. Preliminal initiatives for HIV vaccine trials at MUHAS started way back in 1989 with collaborative research works which followed by actual trials of HIVIS-03 in 2007. We pursued HIVIS-03 trial between 2007 to 2010. HIVIS meaning HIV immunogenicity study. O3 because there was a HIVIS O1 and O2 which were conducted in Sweden preceding the trial that was started in Tanzania. In between, we got a grant that enabled us to work together with Mbea and colleagues in Mozambique to also start the so-called Tamovac 01. Tamovac meaning Tanzania, Mozambique HIV vaccine trial. And in Tamovac 01, we wanted to demonstrate other attributes and also optimizing the vaccine uh, delivery. After Tamovac 1, MUHA scientists started Tamovac 2, which also involved Tanzania and Mozambique. In Tamovac 2, MUHA scientists investigated same vaccine with intention to determine if its delivery with new technique would enhance immune response and make it stronger and durable. So far, we have engaged in four HIV vaccine trials, HIVIS-03, HIVIS-06, Tamovac 1, and Tamovac. The first cohort identified as potential participants for HIV vaccine trials were from the Tanzanian police force. The participants were selected due to the high rate of HIV infections compared to other population groups and because they had reasonable level of education that could facilitate their participation in terms of knowledge and comprehension. The other reason is that uh, police are an institution. It was easy to do follow-up, to contact them, and uh, they can participate in this HIV vaccine trial. Walipoanza kutufuata ama ofisini kutuambia kuhusiana na chanjo, walitupa ilimu, tukailewa, baadae wakatuambia kushiriki kwenye chanjo hiyo, unatakua kushiriki kwa hiyari, usishurutishu na mtu yoyote. When they started following us in the offices, they told us about the vaccine. They gave us education. We understood. Then they told us participation is voluntary. In fact, I aspired to be one of the participants. I left home while I was worried. I arrived at the clinic and received a warm welcome from the reception to the counseling and vaccination. The services were exceptional and healthcare workers were professional and organized. No part had any limitation and service providers did not give me any doubt. Something that touched me deeply until I decided to volunteer, it is this AIDS epidemic and its solution in society. I thought I would be one of the people who would facilitate the HIV vaccine research process through Muhimbili University. 
the scientists from Mohas underwent several prerequisite steps in order to carry out HIV vaccine trials and scientific standards. HIV vaccine trial has two main phases. The preclinical phase, where you investigate the vaccine in the laboratory and you also you test it in experimental animals to see if it is safe and if it stimulates the immune system to produce some protective molecules. After that phase, then you can go for what we call clinical phase, that is testing in human beings. Once the suitable cohort identified for HIV vaccine trials, usually even health education, after showing interest, the eligible participants had to undergo a couple of screening tests to determine their health status. For example, HIV, syphilis, diabetes mellitus, hepatitis B, and hepatitis virus infections. The tests also used to confirm if their kidneys, livers, white blood cells distributions, and levels of blood in the bodies were normal. When screening tests completed, the participants were vaccinated. After every vaccination that was given, samples were collected, tested to exclude any side effects in terms of kidney, liver, on the hematology, but also monitoring whether they have mounted an immune response. The vaccine is safe because so far I have never had any side effects. By the time I was vaccinated, I had no children. Now I have two children. They are safe, they are health, and my health is good too. There were a number of activities involved during the initiation and execution of HIV vaccine trials at Mohas. Between 1989 and 2006, scientists engaged in capacity building initiatives by strengthening laboratory infrastructure, establishment of laboratory methods, acquisition of state-of-art equipment, and technical competencies of staff in terms of knowledge and technology transfer so as to carry out necessary tests together with conducting HIV incidence studies to determine the magnitude of sexually transmitted infections among the eligible participants. So all these require preparations. So it requires preparations from the cohort, from the human resources that involved, but also in the laboratory as well as uh, the clinic. The scientists also undertook social and behavioral studies to determine factors which could impact future HIV vaccine trials, specifically by looking to the redness, perceptions, and misconceptions. From social science perspective, we decided to make a follow-up. What we found is these volunteers, they were not intending to come actually because they suspected the trial was infectious. And that enabled the trial team to adjust the recruitment plan so that the previous issues won't happen again. We realized that knowledge of the participants was low. During the conduct of the trial, most of the questions asked were very basic. But as we continue with enrollment and sensitization meetings, the questions were more advanced, demonstrating high understanding of the basic aspects of HIV as well as HIV vaccine trials. Initially, the attitude towards HIV vaccine was negative in the sense that participants linked the vaccine with unacceptable sexual behavior and that the vaccine would be most appropriate for the prostitutes, not for other people or the general community. And those volunteers who volunteer for HIV vaccine trial, initially they were labeled as HIV infected. They thought the vaccine would cause infertility and non-side effects and even death. Finally, most of the trial participants after going through a series of education sessions and meetings, they seem to be heroes and that if the vaccine um, trial succeed, they would count themselves among the people who made it. 
The efforts for HIV vaccine trials in Tanzania has included various stakeholders at home and abroad. Those stakeholders are MOHAS as host institution, ministry responsible for health and police force. Also, the Swedish Embassy in Tanzania, the University of Cape Town in South Africa, Swedish International Development Agency, Karolinska Institute, and Southern Hospital in Sweden. Furthermore, European Union, the University of Munich, in Germany, Medical Research Council and the Imperial College in the United Kingdom, as well as European Development Countries Clinical Trials Partnership, and finally the Military HIV Research Program and Walter Reed Army Institute of Research in the United States of America. We also got support from the government, at least the research space, utilities, and the researchers, these were paid by the government. So the government also, in a way, provided part of the funding for, to undertake the HIV vaccine trials. The government of Tanzania had played its part very effectively in conducting HIV vaccine trials at high scientific standards and very good ethical integrity. The Ministry of Health developed a national HIV strategic framework which outlined how the HIV vaccine trials would be conducted in Tanzania. The National Institute of Medical Research, which is main part of the Ministry of Health, had granted initial approval and made follow-up as far as the ethics were concerned. Tanzania Medicine and Medical Devices Authority, which was formerly known as Tanzania Food and Drugs Authority, had ratified and approved HIV vaccine trials. All the HIV vaccine trials that have been conducted at the university have gone through this rigorous process of obtaining an ethical approval as well as obtaining a regulatory approval. The HIV vaccine trials at MOAS had marked with outstanding successes. Through the conduct vaccine trials, we have shown the world that we as a country, we as Tanzanians, are capable of performing these very complex studies to a level that is scientifically and internationally acceptable. This is a very huge success. In general, after engaging in those trials, we have built significant capacity in the way we can participate in HIV vaccine trials. So capacity built in terms of human resources at the level of PhD, but also among technical staff in terms of ability to perform a highly sophisticated test. But furthermore, the acquisition of equipment is also another complement at MUHAS. We have been able to mobilize the community, to have volunteers who come and participate in the trials themselves. Again, this is a very important capacity. Through the conduct of these trials, we have built the capacity at the National Health Research Ethics Committee on how to scrutinize a protocol, how to supervise a clinical trial. But we have also built the capacity at the TMDA in terms of scrutinizing an investigational product and following up with the administration. The experience and the skills that we have been able to obtain are very, very useful in so many other areas of uh, health administration in the country. We have built a very strong global north and the global south collaboration. But also the findings that generated from HIV vaccine trials have contributed to the global science, disseminated worldwide, either through publications, through international conferences where we attended and presented our results, as well as national conferences. Mafanikio makubwa Great success. As you see, there are other ongoing projects after we have finished. We are investigating if the vaccine is safe and create stimulus. But right now we are going to prep work where we want to determine if the vaccine is immune responsive. That means we are very close to get vaccine. Succession is not to have the vaccine itself. The interventions that went through the participants were able to change the risky sexual behavior, and that improves their health status. All in all, the, the conduct of HIV vaccine trials in MOHAS is a huge plus for the institution and a huge plus for the country. 
despite the successes the HIV vaccine trials at Moes also had its challenges. The main challenge is social negative attitudes of people outside the health sector. A large percent of Tanzanians believe that it's the transplant of HIV, but completely not. The people that were spreading these myths were not the participants, the healthcare workers. So we encountered it and uh, continued with further education. We educated the participants, but also the people that they interact with. And the tests that we're performing required reagents or diagnostics that were not available locally. We had to import them from outside the country. The other logistics is uh, funding limitations. The projects have a limited time period and therefore it's expensive to maintain very well trained staff. Once you have finished your project, you have to let them go. Preliminary steps in HIV vaccine trials have yielded positive results that indicate full availability of the actual HIV vaccine. What I would like to declare outright is that we have not yet <laughs> discovered a HIV vaccine that works. What we have is a candidate that has been investigated and shown some promising results. In all those vaccines, we were able to show that the candidate vaccine that we are using is safe, immunogenic, and produces an immune response, both antibody response and cell-mediated response. The people who have participated in the HIV vaccine trial have not been protected against the HIV infection. They have developed responses which are possible indicators of protection, but studies are yet to take place to investigate fully the nature of responses that they produced and whether these have any degree of protection. We don't have a vaccine yet. I have to be optimistic that we may get one. We hope in future we shall have one. We will just get there, and it's not too long. We will get there. Throughout active participation and experiences in HIV vaccine trials, stakeholders provide their views and suggestions to enrich forthcoming trials. I applaud all participants for their dedication. I advise those who are still hesitant to stop because there is no any harm there. In order to develop an effective vaccine, it's important Tanzania take part in HIV vaccine trials because this is the effort which is ongoing around the world. Let our professionals continue to face existing challenges and utilize available opportunities to ensure that they have continuous research on various health issues apart from the AIDS epidemic. The government of Tanzania, through the Ministry of Health, I urge them to provide more education on vaccinations of all kinds. What is the vaccination? How is it available? Etc. This will help support the professionals. Initially, the candidate vaccine that we tested here at Mohas was developed in Sweden in collaboration with us. But we would now like our young people to be able to develop vaccines, if possible, locally. We have the capacity and uh, we still have the desire to pursue this initiative. So in brief, we want to continue with the HIV vaccine testing initiative. We want to build a stronger capacity by training our young people to be conversant with the HIV production techniques. And we also want to ensure that our society is building a very strong research culture and is forthcoming in terms of providing resources to support the HIV vaccine research. The efforts to find an effective HIV vaccine are of public importance because will eventually help to reach lasting solution on prevention of HIV infections in Tanzania and other parts of the world. Therefore, Muha scientists should be supported financially and materially by wide-ranging stakeholders in conducting further clinical trials so as to achieve their dream of a full-fledged HIV vaccine in the near future.